What's up, folks? Thanks for tuning into the Impact Lounge. You have myself, Ro the Great, and this is an explosion review. Our featured match was Taya Valkyrie versus Alicia Edwards. Now, I will say I'm a big Taya fan, so I was happy to see her on explosion because, you know, as of late on Impact, we've seen her taking a couple of losses. So I really think with explosion it gives her an opportunity while not being in the title picture, giving um, her something to do as far as wrestling, get some more wins underneath her belt, where then she can get back into contention for the Knockouts Championship. And then with Alicia, obviously this is before the attack that occurred at Redemption. It's always nice to see her. It looks like they have some kind of plans for her. I mean, obviously for the time being, they probably want to just use her on explosion and give her an opportunity to get some matches underneath her belt before they actually thrust her into the knockouts title picture um but as far as the match i want to say you know it seems like with Taya's character and i seen it in this match it seems like they kind of give her like she's like this brute type force similar to kind of like uh sienna i want to say and that by the way is something i'd love to see sienna versus taya but in this match you know she was throwing alicia around a bit and at times it did look like it was gonna be a squash but we seen uh, alicia she was resilient she was able to get some offense in and uh you know she took <laughs> she took some crazy bumps like as far as the hangman's ddt and then being thrown outside um but yeah you know it, it was a fine match Taya picks up the win, obviously, you know, to give her some momentum since I guess you could say she's lost a little bit of steam after losing to Rosemary and then most recently to Allie. So, yeah, you know, fine, fine match by far. Um, like I said, I think this is what Explosion's for is giving not only re the male wrestlers, but as well as the knockouts, the ones that might not be able to get on TV every week are don't really have anything going on gives them matches like this um and it helps i i like to believe so then next we get it around the ring with tommy dreamer now i thought this was just random as i don't know what just for the simple fact i was of the mindset that tommy dreamer was probably just sticking around to to work redemption and then that was it not that I have a problem with it, but I just, you know, thought normally with the round the ring, we're accustomed to getting wrestlers that are currently on the roster. So anyways, um, nothing, I want to say nothing that <laughs> I, I hate to say nothing that wasn't interesting, but it was nothing I really learned outside of his love for New York sports, um, He's a bandwagon fan, so that means any team. He said he, he clearly says any team that has all the stars, you know, and they're really good. That that's who he roots for. Um, he took some shots at Josh, you know, subtle shots, obviously. And he had mentioned WWE on three different occasions. With the first time he said it, but it's like he mumbled it. So that's when I had thought I was like, okay. But then he meant, mentioned it two more times as far as the catering. And then I guess work, he's worked more matches than a lot of the guys over there who make more money than him. So, I mean, I didn't get the point of that, but hey, to each his own. So, yeah, um, I, I was surprised he didn't really dive too much into the ECW stuff. But, I mean, I guess a lot of us have heard it before. So, so that was that. Now, for our Impact Classic match, uh, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. I've watched bits and pieces of it. I was not interested in seeing it, only for the simple fact I'm at the point with these classic matches. I want them to show us bits and pieces. I feel like there's no need to show us the full match. And we get this on Explosion, and we're getting it on Impact as well. I think that time can be used for another match or some kind of angle or, or any anything else the whole the sole purpose of when they do the either the classic match or the GWN flashback is to show us bits and pieces and to get us to want to not only 
continue watching the match on the GWN app, but potentially purchase it. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's no purpose in me as a consumer getting the app if you're going to show me every week that wants to look up older pay-per-views and uh, shows, that's fine. But showing us a full match on, you know, whether it's Impact or Explosion, it's not needed. Just show us clips. With that said, though, the match was from Lockdown 2013, and it was a triple threat tag team match with the defending TNA Tag Team Champions, Austin Aries and Bobby Roode, also known as the Dirty Hills, defending against Chavo Guerrero and Hernandez, as well as Bad Influence, Christopher Daniels, and Kazarian. So for those of you interested, just be sure to check that out. Like I said, I've seen some bits and pieces. It was a great match. I just wasn't in the mood to seeing its f full length on Explosion because the whole point of the Explosion review is to cover Explosion, obviously. So, and then finally, of course, we get our Impact Rewind, which was Brian Cage once again. Um, I want to say this is the third time, third or fourth now, that he's been in the Rewind. So that comes to show you that they really have big plans for him and they think highly of him. But they showed his match with Trevor Lee. Um, it's one I recommend you guys check out. And only because I think with Brian Cage, we're starting to see now, they kind of have a layout for his matches where, you know, instead of going all Goldberg route and having him just run through people, he's giving people enough offense where it seems somewhat believable, like this person stands somewhat of a chance against them. And I really think that's beneficial, not only for the people that he's working with, but for him as well. Because I think if you just lay out a match where it's just him running through everyone you're getting it you know essentially the Goldberg squash matches and those things got old relatively quick but I, I think one of the biggest points in the match that I thought was awesome seeing Trevor Lee hit the deadlift German on Brian Cage so for those of you who haven't seen this match check it out some great work by both participants and with that said that is the explosion review Thanks for listening. Until next time, everybody take care.